Good morning, everyone. I hope you are having a great day. The message from this past Sunday was about praising God. And as I was meditating the Word of God this morning, I have another passage that I want to share with you about praise. So I am reading from the book of Psalm, chapter 147, verse 1 to 6. And I want to encourage you to read these verses with me if you can. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Amen. The Bible says that it is both pleasant and fitting for God's people to praise Him. We see this from many places in the scripture. In the Old Testament, Miriam, the sister of Moses, led others to praise the Lord when he delivered them from the slavery in Egypt. She was a great praise leader. Also, just as God once gathered the exiled Israelites into their homeland, he called us out from the kingdom of Satan and brought us into the kingdom of his son. He delivered us from the darkest and hopeless places. And there is a great joy in it, which actually makes us want to praise Him. He is the Lord of our salvation. He is great and mighty. At the same time, God is not only mighty and glorious, but also loving and compassionate. As verse 4 says, He determines the number of the stars and He knows each of them. In the same way, He knows us. Sometimes we would find ourselves being mistreated by others, by some situations, which could completely ruin our day. However, God is there for us, and He understands and knows exactly how we feel. He preserves the humble and turns His face against the wicked because He is a compassionate and righteous God. Of course, there are times when we struggle to find reasons to praise God. But let us take a deep breath and thank Him for the things that demonstrate His ongoing care for us. He is our Savior and our Lord. He sustains our lives today. What has the Lord done for you recently, last week? yesterday, or from this morning? Let us be glad about this and thank Him. And let us bring Him praises for who He is and for everything that He has done for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we are so glad and thankful to know that You are our God. Although we are sinners, You have accepted us into Your kingdom as your children. We thank you for your compassion and your grace and your great love. Lord, we praise you because you deserve our praise. Lord, you are the defender of the weak and you are with us in the darkest moments in our lives and you deliver us every time. So Lord, we thank you and help us to have a heart of thankfulness and the joy of salvation in Jesus. Lord, we praise you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.